Avery. Guess who just drank two bottles? <gasps> Was it you? <gasps> Did you drink those bottles? <gasps> Was it you? <gasps> You guys, I have the best news. Avery just drank from the bottle and drank two full bottles worth of milk. My mind is blown, you guys. We have been struggling since like day one of getting Avery to take a bottle. She would not do it, would not do it, would not do it. I've had so many people try and help me. Anthony and I have been working day in and day out on it. Finally, we have like two weeks to go until we leave for this cruise so finally yesterday with two weeks left we went hardcore and i took the boobs away and we did only bottle for a whole day which we hadn't been doing before because i would always end up giving in did nothing but bottle the whole day she fought the whole day would not take it screamed cried would not suck on it nothing went to bed slept through the night slept until 9 45 a.m she went down at like 8 p.m woke up at 9 45 a.m the next day i brought her the bottle and she sucked on it no problem no crying no screaming no fussing no choking nothing took the bottle and wanted more i had to put put more milk in the bottle and she was so hungry, and so I had to go upstairs and pump and put more milk in the bottle. And now she's happy, she's talking, she's smiling. You guys, we did it. We did it, Avery. We did it. You guys, I can't even, I can't stop smiling. Like, I'm, I, I was about to cry earlier. I was praying so hard, like, please, Lord, please let this baby get this bottle. Please let it just click. I had it in my head that I was going to fight her, like, all day today and through the week. I thought it was going to take several days of fighting. And it just took one day of tough love. And she got it. She's on the bottle now. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. This means that we can go on the cruise now because now my sister Allison can feed Avery. And I've been pumping and saving milk since day one. I've been, I have bags and bags and bags of it down in my freezer. Even if I didn't have pump milk, there's formula out there too. But Allison wouldn't be able to feed her if she wasn't taking a bottle. So we have been fighting her on trying to get this bottle. And you guys, she did it. She did it! Ah, I can't believe it! Ah, this just takes such a weight off my shoulders. I I don't even know what to say. I, I can't, my mind is blown. My mind is blown. Ah, so I wanted to show you, this is the bottle that worked. This is our lifesaver. It's called Ola Baby. This is it. And it, as you can see, like, it's got kind of like a funky top. Like, it's... It's kind of like more shaped like a boob, I think. And the nipples short, which I think was a big thing because she would choke on longer nipples. And um, the bottle is squeezable. So you could, we were squeezing it into her mouth to try to get some milk in her yesterday. I didn't even have to squeeze it today. She just took it no problem. She's a bottle girl now. So now the question is, we have two weeks to go and she's on the bottle. Do I chance it and go back to breastfeeding her? Or do I just stay on the bottle for two weeks? Because what if I go back to breastfeeding and then she rejects the bottle again? And then I have to go through fighting her again. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm really not sure. What's wrong? Am I not paying attention to you? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Anyway, I had to get on and tell you guys that good news because I just can't believe it. Oh, she's taking a bottle. It is so quiet in this house because Anthony and the boys are gone for the day. Anthony's side of the family are getting together. They get together every summer at his grandma's house. She lives in Convoy, Ohio, which is like right on the border of Ohio and Indiana, I guess. It's two hours away from here. And they left to go to that. Avery and I are staying here because today is my brother, Philip and his wife, Ellie's gender reveal for their first baby. 
So they're having their first baby. She's due like mid-November. And they went to their anatomy scan and had the technician like print off an ultrasound picture with the gender on it and gave it to my parents. So my parents are the only ones who know. They're having a gender reveal party today. So we're going to go and everybody's um, going to pop confetti poppers, kind of like what Anthony and I did for our first gender reveal. And then we're going to find out if it's a boy or a girl. And you're supposed to wear what color you think the gender is. So if you think it's a boy, you should wear blue. And if you think it's a girl, you should wear pink. So Avery is in her pink dress. And I myself am going to wear a pink dress because we think it's a girl. Because how fun would that be? I just had a girl. My sister Allison is pregnant with a girl. She's due end of October. And it would be so fun if my sister-in-law Ellie were pregnant with a girl too. Then that'd be three girls in a row. They'd be like the best of friends growing up. So we will see. But it could be a boy. Um, Anthony thinks it's a girl too. But both our boys think it's a boy. My brother... The dad-to-be, he thinks it's a boy. And then um, Ellie, she changes her mind like every day. So I don't know what she thinks it is right now. But we will see what it is. So I will record a little bit of that gender reveal party for you guys. But it's just kind of a chill day. It, Avery and I are going to hang out. She's going to sleep. We're going to do some more bottle feeding. What, what? I got to do some laundry. And then we're going to go to this party. And then we're just going to hang out. It's just a Sunday. Tomorrow, Grayson has his kindergarten screening tomorrow, so I'm super excited for that, and I've never had any experience with that, so we'll see how that goes. But other than that, we're just gonna have a dance party because Avery's taking the bottle! Woohoo! Oh, I'm so excited, so, so pumped. Are you taking the bottle? Are you taking the bottle like a big girl? Are you taking the bottle like a big girl? Yeah, she's always chewing on her hands. She just turned three and a half months. Yeah, you're a big girl now. Yes, you are. So I just wanted to show you guys, this is the dress that I'm gonna wear for the gender reveal party. My mom actually sent me a link to it on Amazon. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll try it. So I tried it on. It's actually really cute. But when I got it, it came like super wrinkly. It's still kind of wrinkly. But I was like looking up things to do because I don't know where our iron is. And it said one of the ways that you could get wrinkles out is to throw it in the dryer with either like a wet, like a damp sock or like a couple ice cubes. And that would create like steam in the dryer and have it tumble uh, on high for like 10 minutes and so I did that and actually got out quite a bit of wrinkles because it came very wrinkly like it was all packaged up it's still a bit wrinkly but it's actually so much better than what it was so I think it's probably good I don't know nobody's really going to be looking at me they're all going to be looking at the parents to be anyway but I just wanted to show you my cute dress Hey guys, we are back from the party. I don't think I even took a video in my dress and I already took it off because, oh my gosh, it was hot. It was cute and so many people gave me compliments on it and it was just from Amazon and it was really cute, like I said, but it was so hot. It is so hot and muggy and yucky out today and most of the party was outside and I was sweating so bad. So as soon as we got home, I took it off and just put on like workout clothes even though I'm not gonna work out because I was just done wearing that dress but I immediately went and put Avery down to bed she has been getting kind of finicky with her naps she will only take a good nap when she is 
in her crib, swaddled in the dark with the sound machine on. If you hold her while you're like out and about, she'll sleep on and off, but it's not good sleep and she will not just like sleep on the ground. She's getting a little finicky there. She used to not be like that. So she's upstairs taking a good nap. She'll probably sleep till six when I have to wake her up. If I let her sleep past six, then she'll just be up all night. So I'll get her up in an hour and a half. But we are back from the party. They are having a boy. I was wrong. Anthony and I thought for sure it was a girl. Avery and I wore our pink. Most of my siblings wore pink, I think. But it was a boy. So they're having a boy. They're so excited. Congrats to them. And they actually had a couple extra of these poppers. They did like confetti poppers, which turned out so cute from that video. But they had a ton of extra ones and the boys didn't come. Like I said, they went to Anthony's family's get together. So uh, my brother and his wife were like, take the confetti and let the boys pop it. So we'll have fun one day with a bunch of confetti poppers and they'll love it because I'm sure they would have loved seeing that in person but I'm sure they're having so much fun I actually haven't even heard from Anthony um, about when they're coming home so I'm assuming they're still there so they probably won't get home until like bedtime which is kind of perfect because they'll probably just get back and I'll just put them in jammies and they'll go to sleep so that'll be easy enough and then I'm just gonna chill with Avery she took two more bottles at this gender reveal party my mom fed her a whole bunch she fought a little bit in the beginning but then quickly just took it and didn't complain too much so that was so good my family was so pumped that she's taking the bottle because they've been trying to get her to take it just like me so they've been invested in this as well so so happy it's continuing she's doing great and i did ask my mom like do you think i could go back to breastfeeding or should i just like stick with bottles for the next two week, weeks and my mom was like no you need to stick with the bottle for the next two weeks do not bring out the boobs because you'll confuse her she'll regress and you'll have to fight her all over again I figured that's what she was gonna say but I thought I would ask so unfortunately I'm not gonna breastfeed Avery until after we get back from the cruise and by then I don't know if she'll still want to breastfeed or just stick with the bottle so our breastfeeding journey is kind of up in the air right now but I am continuing to pump I made it six months with both boys on exclusive breast milk whether that was bottle or boob i'm hoping to do the same with avery i've got a good stash build up but i know she's gonna go through it like crazy when i'm gone for a week and i'm gonna pump on the cruise but i'm ha gonna have to pump and dump because i'm not gonna be able to take it home with me because it's like how am i gonna transport all that milk maybe i'll see if i can somehow do it but i think it's gonna be pretty difficult so unfortunately i'm gonna have to like waste all that milk and i won't be replenishing this storage that I got but I'm hoping I can keep up my breast supply I know it's not as good with the pump compared to like the baby itself but it is the way it is and that's just what we're gonna have to do right now so so happy she's on the bottle and I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself for an hour and a half now like what do I do I need to unload stuff from the car maybe I'll edit some videos I guess I don't know I guess the world is my oyster